If you haven't seen the video, you just aren't living right. Just type in John Tesh, round ball rock. And what you will see is some of the most self-important nonsense in the history of live music. All right, David, what do we have? Let's talk about some NBA finals here. Let's talk about a key matchup in this game. Want to know what you all think about it. Because Boston has outscored Dallas by 15 points. And I bring that up because why? Because of this matchup. Kyrie versus Holiday and White. So Kyrie has just 42 points on 43 field goals when they're guarding him. And they split the decision on who's guarding him. Uh, He's missed... 10 of his 14 three-point tries. Is that going to be the key matchup? Because Luke is going to get his. Well, that's – look, uh, now, mind you, you're asking a Celtics fan. I would let Luka score 40. I'd let him score 50. I'm not going to let Kyrie be his running mate. And with Holiday and with Derek White, they're two of the better defensive guards in the league, one of the best defensive backcourts. I am willing to expend their energy to take Kyrie away. You're not going to stop Luka. He'll foul hunt – He's going to get 30 or 40. Yeah. And at least, uh, I think with Holiday, when they asked about the whole Kyrie thing, he's like, how do you defend it? He's like, you pray. He didn't go full Ant-Man and just say, Kyrie, I'm shutting you down. Right. And just stoke the flame. So, yeah, this this really is the Kyrie series. I think it's I think it's good Kyrie. Part of that, I think there's another matchup that I don't, I'm not nearly as confident in, but I'll see if David touches upon it. We'll see. Let's move to the other side and the other team because I didn't like what I saw from Minnesota in the last series, which is why I think they lost, where they didn't force Luka to move around on defense at all. He sat there in center field. So my question to you is can Boston sap some of the energy by allowing Luka to move more defensively? Okay, so Celtics play a five out, and I think the Celtics, even though they're metrically one of the best offensive teams of the decade – they get comfortable, and they just start launching threes. If you actually look at this, David and Rico, they have size advantages across the board. Posting up a guy like Luka, posting up with Tatum, posting up with Brown, posting up with Holiday. Yes, David, I think that has to be part of this. And I please, I don't want to hear the the math nerds tell me that a post up's a bad shot. Well, so shooting eighteen percent on fifty threes. See, no, no. See, here's why a post up is not a bad shot because it eventually wears down Luca. And by the end of the game, he is not the same player. It's like the body uh, body shots in boxing. Yeah, they, they don't seem like they're doing anything. Right. But Mix come the in. final round, mix it in, man. You wore that person down, and they have nothing left in the tank. So this next one is going to be kind of a two parter. Brings in a. X factor here because you talked about the three-point shooting for Boston, which they led the NBA in the regular season in three-point attempts, also in the playoffs. So 44% of their three or their uh, shot attempts come from beyond the arc. So my second part of this is what does Dallas do defensively with their bigs? Because Boston's bigs can shoot to three, but Dallas likes to drop their bigs so they're yeah. in the paint. So what do this you do? Is, this is what, what I'm afraid of. It's all about Porzingis. Um If he's healthy, if he's right, if he can give them 25 minutes a night, I think it's a massive thing. Um, If he's not, you have a real problem on your hands. Al Horford can't be playing 40 minutes a night against the Mavs. No, the beauty of it. You've had so much time that maybe he can come back at least for the first couple of games. I got to see it. And give you something for game one and game two. And then after that. Don't, don't. It's iffy. I'm just saying. Deflator. It's not deflator. It's just like Mike. If if you can just hold court, I think – because that's the thing. You don't want Kyrie to come into Boston and steal one. Oh, God. Don't so hold court. Oh, God. And then – If they lose game one tonight and Kyrie does it, I'll see you guys Monday. I'm going to do what Kenny did. I'm calling in sick. This Blitz, sponsored by <laughs> Sage. You son of a <laughs> – So let's get to the other side of the uh, matchup when it comes to threes. It's the Dallas three-point. While they don't shoot a lot of threes – what hurts teams is their corner three attempts. Yep. They lead the league in corner three attempts and field goal percentage by that. And Luka is great when his assist in yeah. the corner. P.J. Washington killed them in the last Dude, P.J. Washington is awful the first three quarters and then turns into Larry Bird in the fourth. It's really oh. – he's like Bob Ory. He is big shot Bob 2.0. Yep. Look, no, the Celtics I'm... defensively – David, 
you, what the data tells you, they're phenomenal defensively. You know, I, I think their biggest weakness is the pick and roll and Al Horford playing the drop cover. That it's was going to be my you next need question. Porzingis. That was going to be my next question because they prefer the drop coverage in the pick and roll. We saw what that did with Luka and oh. Kyrie last series. Brutal. Yeah. yeah, brutal. Can't happen. But I also think you had a motivated Kyrie. I mean, that, that series was like the best I've seen him play in a long time consistently. Okay, well, then let's get to it there because we know the record. Maybe others don't. Kyrie, 0-10 against the Celtics since he was traded or since he left Boston. Something has to give here, right? Not really. Okay. <laughs> no, not – David, it, it, I don't know if he goes out there and tries too hard. I don't know what happens, but – Yes, there is a history between Kyrie and the city of Boston, and the, I'm sure the Boston fans are going to let him have it, and I'm sure he's going to want to shut them up, and maybe that takes him out of his game. If he plays the way he did in the last series, Mike, no offense, it's going to be a long series for you guys, and you may be I, looking at I about agree. a seven-game series. If he just goes back to being the Kyrie that we all think he's going to be, then – it's probably going to be Celtics in five. I think you touched on it. He might just be a different guy. Look, I hate his guts. I'll never forgive him for what he did in Boston. However, I can respect his self-awareness of admitting, finally, that he wasn't a victim and that it wasn't a good representation of himself and it wasn't a good look his time in Boston. Nor was it when he came back and flipped off the fans. But if he's a different player and different mentally, uh, the 0 and 10 doesn't mean anything. I, I'm with Rico on this. Look, I, I know this is it'll either be ultimate pleasure when we eliminate Kyrie and the Celtics finally win another title, or it's going to be one of the most debilitating, emotionally bankrupting losses of my life. If the Celtics not only lose in the finals again, but they lose to that ass pimple. I hate him. I'm sorry. I can't. I hate him. Right. I mean, because David. I hate him. I look at the 0 and 10, like, I forgot the referee's name, but it was like whenever. Oh, Chris, uh, Chris, Paul, Paul. Chris Paul. It was Foster, I believe. Yeah, whenever he yeah. played up again, he, like, he never won a game. And it was like, after a while, you know what? Maybe it's just what it is. It's okay to not like an athlete, by the way. I don't have to like him. He screwed over my entire franchise, and he was a terrible teammate. And he lied to the fans. Very true. So simply, we'll close it with this. Who wins the series? How many games? I think Boston wins the series. Um, probably, I think Boston wins the series in them probably like seven games. You know what? I don't care. I have rare moments I get to be a fan with anything. You anymore. can be a fan here. Yes. Screw it. Be I, a fan. I got a shot of a hookup for tickets for Game Five, Celtics in five. I'm there the night they win the title. That, that's my story, you know and I'm sticking Mike, to it. Mike, I would love for that to happen. I, I'm just I'm no, going no, but with realistically it. speaking, I, I realistically, kinda, we could lose the series, and I like your prediction better, but I, I, see, I don't care. I, I see everybody holding court at home. Ah. That's Where's, interesting because uh, Dallas is really good on the road, this playoff. Oh, and it wouldn't shock me if the Celtics just lose tonight just to F with me. This is what they do. You can't win in five unless you lose one. <laughs> <laughs> There's that Detroit Tech Lutheran Western vocational school education. That is your NBA fast break.